Hi, this is Mary Davis, and I just bought this 2004 road truck. When your doctor says you have cancer, you buy a van and you revert back to the 70s and you get a van and you take off and enjoy life and have fun. And it's a group of vanners from the 70s that have been together for over 40 years and we're still together. But what we want to do is promote vans so that dads and kids can go and find one and restore it and make it a family a family event and then go to places like this because they're amazing going to Carlisle Truck Shore or going to the Nationals it's absolutely amazing and my van has taken me I've had it five months I've put on 9,000 miles um, I bought it off of eBay picked it up in Seattle from Chicago and I drove it back in February where there was tons of snow and it took me nine days to get back five days in Oregon which I will go back to Oregon anytime it was beautiful the I just couldn't cross the mountains but my new snow tires that they gave me before I left Oregon no sales tax um, got me right through the mountains I didn't need chains however I did need to buy cables and put them in but I absolutely love this thing it's completely self-sufficient it's got LP gas shore power or it's got the batteries so you can run this you can live off grid forever as long as you've got some fuel money for fuel You've got it, and I absolutely love it. It's self-sufficient, full bathroom, full kitchen, king-size bed, and you can get in the driver's seat and take off whenever you want to and go anywhere. And just go by the river and catch some fish and hang out. It's the best thing I've ever had. And I would love, I would love everybody to have a van and experience this kind of stuff. And the van culture of being all together as a big family and we're all together and it's a tight great group and we'd love to see the numbers increase in our memberships so it's a great thing to get into and i totally think it's best for your health to get into it as well thanks okay. let me show you a little bit of how great this van is i got deer whistlers so no deers hop out in front of me and scare me this has got faded it came from florida i don't care this thing is amazing got a 6.0 Vortec engine gas it is it's getting me about 15 miles per gallon on the road which is incredible for a 20-foot vehicle um, so it starts with a 3500 Express chassis and Road Trek builds this incredible body and mobile coach out of it so this is the 30th anniversary it's the 2004 so this is a limited edition and I think it's all about the black stripes actually I've got a full canopy that comes out 10 feet and the legs extend right to the van so you don't have to worry about putting them in the ground or staking them down and it's solid. And you can still open the doors, you can still function. Let's check out the inside a little bit. Okay, let's check out this van. This is great. First of all, I've got a twin bed here. It will fit one child maybe. Um, this part comes off that lays down as it's swiveled and this drawer comes out and a ledge comes out and you put this on here and it becomes a one like a one bed like a twin um, it's got 266,000 miles on it I absolutely love it Road Trek has put a storage spot in every place that they could possibly think of up above all along the sides there's everything that opens up and I have a three-way refrigerator so it goes from LP or it goes electric shore power or you have batteries I've got a full kitchen with a two burner stove a microwave a sink with a hot water heater and a three-way refrigerator I've got a closet I've got tons of storage for food and pots and pans and I've also got a bathroom with a toilet and a full shower. I also have a shower connection outside of the van, which I prefer, and everything is just completely self-contained. I can take this anywhere and live off grid. The, the toilet is inside of this door, and once you open this door, there's also another section actually inside of the door that will open up and prevent anybody from seeing you. It's like a little private bathroom. Also, there's a curtain inside that goes along this whole band here and it's for the shower there's a shower connection inside the drain is underneath the carpet on the floor 
and I do prefer to take the shower outside because I also have another outside shower. Um, there's mu so much storage in here. I can put up absolutely everything. These back ones go all the way to the back of the van. King size bed that converts into an actual dinette for six people and the table goes in the middle and these become a regular bench. Air conditioner to bed. We've got an air conditioner with a heat pump. I've got a generator and I've got a furnace. So any type of weather, I can live in this van. I stayed in it when it was zero degrees and I wouldn't let my dog stay in it, but I stayed in it because it's me. I'm mean, like, once you're a vanner, you're always a vanner. You can't stop. So I absolutely love this and I would recommend this vehicle for anybody that just wants to retire get a vehicle and hit the road and take off because you got to live life when you can. It's awesome. I love it. Once you're a vanner, you're always a vanner. It's the two percenters. I've gone to these van runs and these events and I have won five awards already. I didn't even try. It's the vehicle itself that is so incredible that everybody is amazed when they see it. I love it. All I can say is get a van and take off and hit the road. Also have a little TV back here for you. I got a little TV. It's, there's also a DVD that is in the cabinet that I hooked up to it so you can sit here and watch movies. You could put a little game system in there. Um, I've got my little alien from New Mexico. Uh, he kind of keeps watch over everything. And then I've got some, I'm starting my, my collection of stickers in the back. Everybody adds to my van. I have no control. <laughs> it's just a good time. Yeah.